Matrix Live, folks. Benoit is going to tell us all about the Element X Gallery. Benoit, are you out there? I'm here. Good morning. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, yeah, so I will uh, introduce you to Element X Gallery. Uh, so this is a tool that uh, we can use to, to check the translations of the application and the translations are shared between Elementx iOS and Elementx Android. So it's useful for, for both platforms. Um, so first of all, a few words about our... Um, oh, do I share my screen? No, let me share my screen, sorry. Okay, um, so we are developing uh, ElementX Android using uh, Jetpack Compose. So if you see my screen, this is our, our class, a classical uh, composable function for the about uh, view, which is a quite simple function. And I'm just showing it to, to demo it. Uh, and we have in the Element Android, um, in the Android Studio, sorry, uh, we have embedded preview. So we can, uh, when we develop uh, the screen, we can preview it in light and dark mode. Uh, so for instance, if I do a, a small change like making only only one uh, legal item, it will update the preview. So I only have one item now. And um, we are using uh, two other tools uh, to be able from this preview, which are part of the code base, uh, to gather all the preview uh, using a tool which is named Showcase. And then using another tool, which is called uh, uh, um, Paparazzi, and which will be used to um, to record a screenshot and also to compare to the golden screenshot. Uh, so, for instance, uh, when we do a pre-request, uh, so for instance, this one, so changing the avatar for the DMs. Um, we will have to do some change on the UI, and then we will have to record the screenshot so it becomes they become the new reference. So this is um, the new uh, rendering of uh, room details for DM. And if you go to the file changes, you will see that uh, new screenshots have been recorded. So the old one, the old reference on the left, and the new reference on the left. On the right, sorry. Uh, so we can check the difference when we review pre request. And uh, also, we can check if there is no regressions. Um, so the idea was to use a tool to record screenshot um, be um, because we record only screenshot in English. But the idea was to uh, use the, the same tools to record the screenshots for all the languages, all the available languages. So. If you go to the Element X Android uh, uh, README, uh, you will see oh, that it's available of Fdroid, on Fdroid 2 now. So good news. And you will see a link to, um, uh, to the Element uh, X uh, gallery here in the translation section. So if I click on it, I will see um, a GitHub page uh, with the English screen on the, on the left and the other languages are on the right. So it will help to, to check the consistencies of the translations. Um, for instance, in some screen, um, uh, several strings are used. And sometimes it's not easy for the translators to uh, translate uh, strings one by one and add, at the end have um, a, a screen as a result uh, which is consistent. So here we can see the about screen that I showed before in, the, in Android Studio and the translation in German and the translation in French. So you can select other languages here, uh, Italian or whatever, and select uh, Chinese, etc. And all the screens that, are, uh, that have a different version for foreign language than English uh, will be recorded here. Um, so as I said, it can help uh, translators to, to review all the screens of the application. And uh, it can help to, to fix typos as well and to ensure that, uh, that the screens are consistent. So if there is a problem, 
for instance, a string is not correct, uh, one can go to the um, uh, localizy uh, tool, which is located here, and the link is also in the readme, and uh, select uh, the languages and find find the string which is not correct and fix the the, the problem. Um, so this tool is used. Uh, so if I show here the, the new screen with the cluster avatar, we can see the English version, uh, German and French version. So everything is comparable easily. So to do that, um, I was writing some Python script uh, to be able to generate all the screenshots in all the languages and then it generates um, uh, some uh, JSON uh, uh, in a JavaScript file, and then it's published as a GitHub pages. Um, so this is quite a basic HTML pages. Uh, if someone from the web team wants to have a quick look and improve it a, a bit, it would be awesome because we have more and more languages and now the list is a bit long, so the design is not very well, but there is room for improvement, but this is just a tool to help translators. This is not a, um, really something for production or to, to sell to customers. Um, is there anything to add? Yeah, well, I think that's it. Thank you. Uh, you could mention that this has already uh, helped us solve some of the issues with uh, German translations and very long words that broke the UI. Uh, yeah, yeah. For instance, here we can see that German is a, a very using long word. It's in the language nature. So sometimes um, uh, the UI in English is okay because this is short words, and in other languages it can uh, uh, it can create layout issues. So <clears throat> yes, that's true. It can help to also spot layout issues. It's really cool. I'm playing with it as we speak. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Good. Thanks. Easier. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you, Benoit. Uh, I wanted to show you the latest on our sign in with QR code feature that we previewed a couple of months ago. Um, and it has now landed in Element Web and Element X and is enabled um, in the nightly builds for on Element X, iOS and Android um, for you to try out. Anyway, I want to show you how easy it is now with this new feature to uh, sign in a new device using an existing one. So on my right here, I've got uh, iOS uh, and I'm going to fire up Element X nightly and you'll see on here that there's a sign in with QR code option, which is now available. I tap this, get some instructions. Um, and so I go over to my uh, Element desktop, in this case, Element Web. I'm here logged in on my the Element IO home server. So we're running this internally. Um, we do link new device, tap ready to scan on the Element X, allow, scan the code, and I'm prompted to enter two digit code taken from one device to the other. And this verifies that there's a secure end to end connection between the two devices. Um, at this point, I'm taken to an uh, authentication screen that's hosted by Mass. So this feature uses the new OIDC architecture. Um, I'll get back to that in a moment. So if I allow this connection access has been granted I can close the window um, i pop back here and as you can see my element x is signed in it's currently uh syncing uh using setting up sliding sync but otherwise it is actually uh logged in right now and is connected to my chat backup um, as you can see, so this is finished logging in. And if I go into uh, an encrypted room, you can see that magically the full encrypted history is now available, including the images, etc., without having to verify the new device 
um, or anything like that. So this is a super easy way to uh, set up an additional device um, for, by scanning a QR code rather than having to log in manually and um, completing the verification. Um, so this 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 relies on the MSC 3861 OIDC architecture um, but we've been talking about for a while now so if you want to use this feature your home server needs to be um, using that architecture and you need it to be enabled on element X um, and as I said it's on iOS and Android it's enabled by default in the nightlies otherwise you would need to enable a feature flag at build time I think um, in element web um, you need to have the OIDC native authentication labs option turned on which here is available in the develop.element io nightly um, and you need to be talking to a home server that has the necessary OIDC a mass in place um, so maybe you can give it a try check it out but wanted to share this with you it makes it super easy super slick and a sign of the things to come and also shows you how we can harness the existing tech that OIDC has to provide something super slick for Matrix. Hope you've enjoyed. Have a great weekend. All right, that's a lot for Matrix Live. Cool. We're almost on time for once. Have a fantastic weekend, everybody. Thank you. Good luck and see you soon. Bye. All right, Mike.